Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaab al-nar May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we supplicate him and we beseech him and ask him for good in this life as well as the hereafter and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly for guidance in our lives to go on the path, the straight path the siratullahi mustaqim the path of the salaf al-salih the path of the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to hold on, hold steadfast to the rope of Allah azza wa jal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says for kitabi al-kareem wa'atismu bi'ablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku and hold on, all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide the scholars mention a very beneficial faida or benefit regarding this ayat that Allah did not order us to just come together. Adhere all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah. And do not divide. So Allah told us to hold on to something to hold on to the rope of Allah which is the Quran, which is the Sunnah which is the minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah which is the path of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah Allah ordered us to, to unify on that He didn't say just come together Subhanahu wa ta'ala but He ordered us to adhere to that the path of Allah to the rope of Allah, to the Quran and the Sunnah, and not to divide. He didn't say just come together in any form, but he, and he wanted us, subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Mufassirin explained that ayat, that it is adhering to what is already prescribed for us, and that's the Surat al Mustaqim. So we should always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance. And in a beautiful supplication that came in the hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, An ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. And the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kana yaqool Allahumma inni as'aluk al-huda wal-tuqa wal-afaf wal-ghina Ruahu Muslim. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to supplicate, meaning that this was his, his habit sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma inni as'alak al-huda. O Allah, I beseech you for guidance. Well, tuqa and piety or taqwa. Wal afaf and chastity. Wal ghina and contentment. Allah subhanahu uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to supplicate to Allah Azza wa Jal this, this beautiful supplication. And this is in uh, Muslim, Sahih Muslim. This shows us that we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance. And we do when we recite Surah Al Fatiha. Ihdina Surah Al Mustaqeen. Guide us to the straight path. But here in this supplication, we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance towards virtue, which we need at every step of our lives for the ability to do good and be steadfast on the straight path. And we're also asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for taqwa, the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God consciousness. That we are fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times and we're aware that He subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching us, watching over us. And that we are asking Him subhanahu wa ta'ala to be able to adhere to His commandments and avoid His prohibitions. This is taqwa. And afaf to be righteous and away from sinfulness 
and especially to be able to safeguard our private parts, safeguard our private parts from zina, from, from fornication and adultery and masturbation and all of those forms of haram. And may Allah help us. And likewise, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that dua we're beseeching him to be self-sufficient and content to be not dependent upon others and making our hope and our contentment with what our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala has sufficed us with being dependent upon him hoping and beseeching Him alone and being satisfied and content with what He subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon you. This is the character characteristics. These are from the sifat of the mu'min. And these are those characteristics which we want to strive to get. And this is the supplication and the means that we want to attain it by. By supplicating to Allah Azza wa Jal, asking Him, beseeching Him, begging Him for self-sufficiency and may Allah bless us with self-sufficiency to where we're not dependent upon the people may Allah bless us with that Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen may Allah increase our risk from places we can never imagine so that we can spend it in his cause Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen and let it not be a test for us Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen and may Allah guide us to the Surat Allahi Mustaqim bless us with the, the straight path and protect us from the path of those who have went astray Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen and may Allah bless us with ikhlas with thabat ala sunnat al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ameen ya rabbil alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.